Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last time, we discussed the new heavens and the final resurrection, so this time, it seems prudent to ask, will there be a new hell, too? Will the souls in hell undergo some kind of change, like those in heaven do? There's not a whole lot of evidence one way or the other, but a few Bible verses do seem to imply something like that. For example, And many of those that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some unto life everlasting, and others unto reproach, to see it always. Daniel 12.2 And of course, wonder not at this, for the hour cometh wherein all that are in the grave shall hear the voice of the Son of God. And they that have done good things shall come forth unto the resurrection of life, but they that have done evil unto the resurrection of judgment. The Gospel of John 5.28-29 The verse from Daniel is a bit more direct and illuminating with respect to the concept of a new hell, since it not only says that some will be reproached, but it says that even those who are reproached shall awaken. This seems to imply that the souls in hell will also regain their bodies in some way. However, in the same way that the resurrection of the saints will only serve to broaden the scope of their heavenly experience, we have good reason to think that the resurrection of the damned, meaning the souls in hell, will only broaden their suffering. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven, with the angels of his power, in a flame of fire, giving vengeance to them who know not God, and who obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Thessalonians 1, 7-8 This verse seems to imply that the return of Jesus will be a terrifying event for everyone who rejects God, and there are many verses that make similar claims. None of them imply that the damned won't have good reasons to be equally terrified of that day, and many of them, like this one, make general statements which could be taken to apply to the damned. But if the damned regain their bodies, how would that increase their suffering? Well, this is just a theory, but I suspect that there are types of pain which can only be experienced through a body. Therefore, people who have bodies are able to suffer more than those who don't. In short, no one should ever want to end up in the new hell, if such a thing ever occurs. Next time, what will happen to the virtues in the afterlife? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.